good morning i'm so tired i'm so happy it's friday though hey guys welcome welcome back to another video in this video we will be doing a working from home vlog with me so for those of you who don't know i am a financial analyst i work in corporate finance at a renewable energy company and i will be taking you guys along with me throughout the day right now it is around 9 a.m and i just finished having breakfast i had some oatmeal and then while i had that i responded to emails i usually start my day with responding to emails and teams messages just because like I don't know I feel like that's sort of like an easy thing to wake up to but yeah the real work day starts now and I have four meetings scheduled for today I have my first one at 10 30 my second one at noon my third one at 2 p.m and my final one at 4 p.m so that's really what the day is going to bring and in between I will probably be spending the majority of my time in Excel like I usually do. And yeah, honestly, the most exciting meeting for today is my second one at noon, because that is my performance evaluation with my manager. And we only have those twice a year. And for those of you who don't know, I actually started my current job in early 2022. So this will be my very first performance evaluation with my manager. So I am excited for that. <laughs> we will see what, what he thinks of me. Um, and yeah, so the other meetings are a little bit more sort of project specific. and. I will of course go into more detail with those as they happen but yeah without further ado let's jump into the day also just a quick little disclaimer you will be seeing me working lying down in bed for most of the day um, and that is simply because I have gotten like some kind of neck and back injury. I don't fully know what it is. Um, I talk more about it in my latest video up here. But yeah, I have somehow injured my neck and my back. And so I can't really sit or stand for very long at a time. So yeah, I just, I have to lie down for most of the day. So um, you will see me doing that. That is not the norm. I usually <laughs> sit up doing my work. So yeah, I just wanted to explain that because I know it might look a little bit strange. Just me lying down in my bed working. Um, um, but yeah. again guys it is now almost 10 30 and i am getting ready for my first meeting so this morning i got some work done in excel so my work is very project based and for each project we work in these kind of discounted cash flow valuation models where my job is basically keeping track of the valuation like how much money we expect to make from this specific project and so that's what i do on my different projects and so i work together with the technical teams a lot and so the technical teams are mostly made out of engineers and they forecast things like how much different things are going to cost in our projects how much electricity we're going to produce electricity is our main product because we are a renewable energy company um, and so yeah i work together with them a lot and so my meeting here at 10 30 is with the guy responsible for our production forecast and so i will discuss with him how we're going to go about it and when we're getting new input and stuff like that and then once he finishes the forecast he will give it to me and then i will incorporate it in our financial model and so i sort of get all these different budgets from all these different technical departments and then I gather them all in my big this kind of cash flow model that we then use to come up with a valuation and a forecast of how much money we think we will make from this project. So yeah, I will check in with you again after the meeting. I am back from my first meeting now. I had that meeting, it went well, we sort of aligned on our production assumptions and then after that I did some more work in Excel with our this kind of cash flow model sort of updating some different budgets that we had in it, updating some of the macro data, so things like exchange rate assumptions and inflation rate assumptions and that kind of thing. And so now it is 11.20 a.m. and so I will have my performance evaluation meeting in 40 minutes now. I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. I'm a little bit nervous, but I feel like it's sort of, it's healthy nerves, you know? Like you have to be a little bit nervous with these kind of things. At least that's what I tell myself. But yeah, I figured I would sit down now, have a snack, and then prepare myself for that meeting. Um, so while this is the first performance evaluation meeting at my current employer, I have had, I think, two of these performance evaluation meetings at my previous employer. So it's not like my overall first performance evaluation meeting, just my first one at this employer. Um, but yeah, so I want to sit down and prepare a little bit. And so what I've found is that it's usually a pretty good idea to prepare a little bit for these meetings before they start. And so what I'm going to do is that I will sit down and sort of 
things through how well I think I'm performing at the different metrics that I know will be judged on. And so my company, we have like nine overall metrics and usually these metrics are like more or less the same across, you know, different companies. But, you know, some pretty classic ones are like ambition. Like, do you go above and beyond in your work? Do you always strive to do better? Um, leadership, you know, do other people follow you? Do you inspire others? Do you take responsibility and sort of lead the way? And how good is the quality of your work? You know, like, do you always make sure everything is like up to standards? You are detail oriented, you don't miss things or are there like little flaws here and there too often? How dependable are you? So like, do you always meet deadlines? Do you show up to meetings on time? Those kind of things. And how good are you at teamwork? Do people like working with you? Are you easy to work with? Or are you kind of annoying to work with? Like those kind of things. And so that's just some examples. I will try to put them up on the screen here. Um, but yeah, so I will sort of try to sit down, think about how well I think I'm performing on these different metrics, where my strengths are, where I think I can improve. And and sort of try to write down an example for each of them. I feel like that just helps me engage in the conversation with my manager and also it helps me to figure out whether or not we're on the same page or whether or not he has a different idea of what I'm good and bad at um, than I do. So I will do that and then in addition I will also sit down and sort of write down the different things that I want to get out of the meeting. So that can be things like what are my goals in the next year at this company? Like promotion, um, a race, or more flexible work hours, or different kinds of projects, or different kinds of responsibilities, like all these different things. Um, and so yeah, I will write some ideas for that too. That sort of helps me go into the conversation with something I can bring to the table also. And yeah, uh, we will see whatever manager has a plan. <laughs> Obviously he will be the one sort of leading the conversation in the meeting. But you know, I do think that these kind of performance evaluations are chances for us as employees to um, put our goals out there and get help to achieve those goals from our manager, you know, and get some guidance on them. And yeah, I will sit down and try to prepare that now. And uh, I will talk to you after my performance evaluation. Uh, cross your fingers for me, guys. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, I am back now from my performance evaluation meeting and I will give you more details on that in a second. But honestly, it was kind of chaotic. So after I talked to you before, I went back to bed and sort of sat down to write down some notes, gather my thoughts and stuff, prepare for the performance evaluation meeting, like I told you. And then suddenly at 11.35, I get a Teams message from my manager asking me where I am because they're waiting for me. And I'm like kind of confused because my performance evaluation meeting doesn't start until noon. And so I'm like, do you want me to join the meeting early? I thought we were doing my performance evaluation at noon. And he was like, no, the team meeting. And I was like, I don't have a team meeting in my calendar. And so apparently he had called like a last minute team meeting and he had forgotten to add me to the invite. I'm trying to not take it personal. Um, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so he had called like a last minute team meeting. So I ended up joining that and having that right before my performance evaluation. But yeah, after that, I had my performance evaluation meeting. And overall, I think it went really well. Um, it was way less structured than I thought it was going to be. It was mostly just my manager and I having like a pretty casual conversation about the projects that I'm working on, what I like about them, what I would like to work on in the future, and how I'm getting along with my teammates, how my teammates are getting along with me and stuff. I didn't really get any negative feedback, so that was nice. I was just kind of told to keep doing what I'm doing. And then of course we talked about like specific goals in the next year, like how I'm on track to getting a promotion, like that kind of thing, like where I want to be in three years or five years and stuff. like you know, normal stuff like that, right? I feel like that's like classic performance evaluation stuff. But yeah, it went well. Um, happy that it's over. Happy to sort of feel aligned with him on my goals and stuff. So yeah. But anyways, I think I still have like 30 minutes or something before my next meeting at 2 p.m. So I will go do a bit more work in Excel, still just working that discounted cash flow model, trying to incorporate some updated assumptions in terms of budgets and stuff like that, and look at some different business cases for the same project and stuff. Usually we have like, you know, optimistic scenarios, less optimistic scenarios and stuff, all for the same project. And I would love to share that model with you, but I would literally get fired and sued if I did, so I can't 
hand, but I do plan on making a video in the future where I build my own sort of little simplified this kind of cash flow model to sort of illustrate more what it actually is that I'm doing. Um, and obviously I'm allowed to build my own kind of simplified model. There's no issue there. So I will make a video like that and sort of explain a little bit more in detail what kind of Excel models it is that I'm working with. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to let you know that is coming up and yeah, I'm working on it. But yeah, for now I will head back to Excel and then I will have my meeting at 2 p.m. and then I will check in again with you afterwards. And here's a little outfit of the day situation in case any of you are interested. Hashtag OOTD. I don't know, what is this? 2014? Um, but anyways, I'm wearing this uh, purple crop sweater situation from Aritzia. Like basically all my favorite clothing. I just, I love Aritzia. And then my skirt is from H&M. I got it just a couple weeks ago. Um, I honestly, like, I love it. This is like, like this skirt has been my best clothing purchase in a very long time. It's... It's perfect and like it fits me perfectly it's like kind of like an athletic fabric um, and then it's a tennis skirt with shorts underneath not super work appropriate but when i'm working from home no one tells me what to wear so So I just finished my third meeting, or I guess technically fourth, the one from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. now. Um, and it went well. It was, so on one of my projects, we are working with a partner on that one. So like a joint venture situation, 50-50 ownership split. Um, and so we were meeting with them to align on revenue expectations on this meeting. And then my final meeting, which will be at 4 p.m., will also be with the partner, which is some other people from the partner company. And so that meeting will be a bit more technical. So we will talk about um, the technology that we'll be using, our cost estimates for all of that and stuff. So that meeting will start in one hour and it will last for two hours, guys. So I will be in meetings until 6 p.m. on a Friday. No, God, please, no! Which, like, I probably shouldn't complain about because I am in the comfort of my own home. I'm literally lying in bed right now, so. But uh, yeah, this meeting went well. Our partner is nice. Obviously, we do disagree on different things because we use different models, different calculations and stuff. But like, overall, we are figuring it out. And honestly, it's really nice to have a partner in this project because this is very, like, high-tech fired in the future and so it's nice to have someone to split the risk with and also someone to share expertise with because obviously they know a lot of things that we don't and we also know things that they don't so yeah that was that i will check in again with you guys soon and in the meantime you guessed it i will go back to working in excel because that is what i do all the time basically um, but i'll see you guys soon What's up guys? I am back from my final meeting for today. It is 6.09 or should I say 69? Um, but yeah, meeting went well. It was a mouthful because it was basically engineers leading the entire meeting, both engineers from my company, but also engineers from our partner company. They were just going through all our technical assumptions on this project and sort of we have to align on those. We can align on a financial business case that I will be responsible for then. So that was kind of why I was there, but uh, the discussion was kind of heavy because it was very technical and I don't really know anything about engineering stuff. So yeah. And now, it is the weekend and I am always excited for Friday and if I upload this video on a day that's not a Friday I apologize in advance because that is just absolutely rude of me but yeah I am done with work for today I will go cook myself some ravioli for dinner but before I do that, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video and coming along with me today. I really enjoy making these work vlogs and engaging with you guys and growing our little community and stuff. So if you like it here too, make sure you subscribe down below and 
If you want to, feel free to like and comment too. I love hearing from you. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I will go get myself some dinner and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.